name. Give me Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. Let's find out what the name of his son's name is. Read it. Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. And he what? And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. So this is talking about the Savior, talking about Christ. He said he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Read. And his name is called. The Word of God. So his name is the Word of God. That's right? right. So that's the name right there. So his name, the Word of God. So when we want to honor his name, what we got to do? So that's what we got to do. So that's what we out here teaching our people to do. To honor the, the Most High God and his son, law, statutes, and commandments. Right? That's right. So give me all Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Because like we, oh, we love our brothers and sisters out here. Right? That's why we out here teaching this word. We can still be in the bed, right? Just like you, you my brother. What's your name, brother? My name is Tom. Tom, my name is Yadin. Alright, so we we love our brothers and our sisters. Give me out Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we know what go on in Memphis, Tennessee. It's a bunch of hating of our brothers, right? A bunch of killing, a bunch of shooting, a bunch of robbing, a bunch of stealing, murder, all that go on in Memphis, right? But the scriptures say that we shouldn't hate our brothers in our heart, right? Read. Thou shalt in any way rebuke thy neighbor. So we should rebuke our neighbor, meaning what? We should correct our neighbor, right? Correct yeah. our brother, correct That's our sister, right. 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 right? That's love according you know to the Bible. You know why? Because the Lord said that open rebuke is better than conceal love. Better than secret love. I'll pray to the most high. Keep reading. Down, brother. Yeah. And not suffer sin upon him. So we're not supposed to suffer sin upon our brothers because and our sisters, right? Our man's overlooking the man's that's right, right? So let's get some right, serious right. right now. So this is the day today, the Lord's Sabbath day. That's I right. love you, Tom. You're my brother, right? Yeah. So let's go into some of this, right? Give me all uh, this right number. Bring it out. Number 1538. Read that real quick. Come on, baptize me, y'all. Uh, you better come on now. I'll pray this to I'm the most high. We are going to baptize you with the word today. Uh, we're going to dip you in the water. We're going to dip you with the water of the word. Give me a little. Oh, oh, hey, give me a feed to the 5 verse 26. Bring it out. Ephesians 5 verse 26 and verse 33. Bring it out. Bring it out. Because a lot of people still think they're supposed to be dipped in water, right? Yeah, right. Bring me to the take, bring me in church, dip me in that dirty water, and yeah. I'm gonna be new again, right? Yeah. But that's not the real water of repentance, right there. Right. Read Ooh. that Ephesians chapter five. Read Ephesians chapter five, verse twenty-six. Go ahead. Oh. That he might sanctify and cleanse. So that's the word. That's my job, right? To sanctify and cleanse my people with what? With the washing of water. By the word. Well, guess what? That's our job to clean our people with the word. Give me that first Peter chapter 3, verse 21. First yeah. Peter Ooh. chapter 3, verse 21. The Lord bigger word too. Even baptism. Like you just said, go ahead and baptize me, right? Because that's something that that's a sign that our people use. When I was little, my mom made me. My mom made me get baptized. She was like, come baptize me. You get baptized, right? My little brother. When I was in church, my younger brother wanted to get baptized. But I didn't want to go. I didn't want to get baptized. My mom made me go get dumped in the water, right? But ain't nothing changed. I was just doing the same stuff again. Uh, on YouTube, you can look for a video with his brother to go get baptized, and as soon as he get out of the water, he smokes some crack. Right? So baptism is not just being dunked in water. Read that. Even baptism do also now save so us. So it says baptism does save us. Read. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. Not getting put in water. Not putting away the filth of the flesh. But what? But the answer of a good conscience. Toward God. So a good conscience toward God is what? Give me Romans 7, 14. It says that what, the, what's going to save us is a good conscience toward God, meaning our mindset. Our mind got to go to God, right? Read that. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Go ahead. Wherefore the law is holy. The law is holy. And the commandment holy. And the commandments are holy. Read. And just. Read. And good. So guess what? What's that good conscience toward God is our mind being changed to these laws and commandments that's in this God. Right. Being separated from sin, right? Give me First John chapter three, verse four. Bring it out. So let's see what sin is according to the scriptures, right? Bring it out. All praises, you know that. We are gonna read it anyway. Read it. First John chapter three, verse four. Go ahead. Yeah. Whosoever committed sin transgress him also the law. So guess what? If you commit sin, meaning you transgress God's laws, read. Right. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. So you know you're an Israelite, right? You already know, right? Give me y'all Deuteronomy 10 verse 12 real quick. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 12. Chapter 10 verse 12. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? So knowing you're Israelite is a requirement. God gave us a requirement, something that we should be doing. Read. 
but to free the Lord thy God, Amen. to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God. So we got, we were given requirements of things that we're supposed to do, right? Give me uh, Lamentations. Give me Lamentations. Um, I think it's 4 verse 1. Lamentations chapter 4 verse 1. Read up. Oh, man. Because guess what? So we're supposed to be the we're supposed to be the kings of this earth, right? The, the Bible says ye are gods, right? So all the black men in Memphis, we gods on this on this planet. Right? Oh, See, but we ain't doing what the God, what Most High God, require of us. So guess what? We're not walking in the ways of a God. Just like just like if you watch um, just like when you watch any of these superhero movies, right? They all got powers, right? But they gotta be doing certain stuff to get these powers. They can't be around certain things to get these powers. Like you watch that movie, um, what's the one with um Hancock, right? He can't be around the white woman. Every time he was close to the white woman, he lost his powers, right? Oh! According to the Bible, we don't supposed to deal with the other nation. We don't supposed to marry the other nation. We don't supposed to lay down with the other nation. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's power, just like when you're dealing with um Why should we lay with these women? They fine now. So they what? What you seen? What what fine white woman you done seen? Bring it up. You see the ones that try and look like black women and then they fine, right? When will you done see a fine Chinese woman before in your life? You see over there it say Beauty Depot, right? Look at that! Look at that place over there. It say Beauty Depot, right? Who run that? Who run that place? The Asians run that, right? When you done seen a beautiful Asian woman before? Depot, my bad. Depot, not Depot. They the wash pot, they, they the wash pot anyway, so he ain't putting it That's what the most high God called him. He called him the wash pot. So deep pot, deep pot. It is what it is. But tell me, when you done seen a beautiful Asian woman before? You ain't seen one. So let me ask you a question. Why they got a store in our neighborhood that say beauty? I see some lustful women now. Oh, you see that. But that's your lust though. That ain't, that ain't the most high God lust. That's your lust. Yeah, yeah. So the scriptures say we don't supposed to mix with the other nations, right? What you got? Keep reading. Lamentations chapter 4 verse 1. Go ahead. How is the gold become dim? So guess what? That's the question, right? He's like, how does the gold become dim? That's talking about us. That's talking about the sons of Zion. It's talking about the Israelite men. How did we go from being the gods of this earth to being people on the corner doing nothing, selling dope, our older men sitting over there getting drunk, they there every morning. How did that happen to us? Black on black crime. How did that happen to us? How did it happen to our women? Instead of taking on the glory of what the Most High God gave them with their hair, they want to look like the white woman. They want to put blonde hair in their head, purple hair in their head, pink hair in their head. They want to get rid of the uh, the natural kinky curly hair that the Most High God gave them, and they want to look like the other nations. How did that happen? Read again. How is the gold become dim? Go ahead. How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are pouring out Go ahead. in the top of every street. That's what, that's what we are. We're in the tops of every street. You look over here in the corner, it's our brothers out there. You look back there, that's our elder men out here on the street. You see how the bus stops anywhere, look down here, right down here at the store. The kings and the gods of this earth now are just some dirty rocks on the, on the, on the corners of the street. How did that happen, Reese? The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold. But we used to be fair, fine gold. That's what we comparable to. That's why the other nations, for them to look good, they got to do what? They got to go tan, right? Every 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 um so-called white woman that you see around here, she tan. Because she ain't tan, she's going to be looking almost close to your shirt, like a dead body. That's what they're going to look like, right? So they got to tan to try and look like us. They got to put in Texas that they live to try and look like us. That's what they got to do. Like us. They gotta change their cheek structure to look like us. Right. They gotta put stuff in their behind to look like us, and their right. hips, and their thighs. They do everything to look like us, right? But we just pour it out on the street. How did that happen to us? You know how that happened to us? Because we got brothers and sisters that know they Israel, but don't keep the commandments of God. That's how that happened to us. Because this law is just the commandments we're supposed to keep. You can't just know you somebody. You gotta put out an action word, right? Just like if um if you sell, you tell you married, you ain't married, right? You got a mom, right? But you got a dad, father. Just say you had, they were still living today, and they said they love you, and every day you walk in the house, they beating you with a stick, right? Till you bloody, laid out on the ground, right? 
That ain't, that ain't love. That ain't showing love. Give me 1 John chapter 5 verse 3. 1 John 5 verse 3. So we say you love God, right? You're trying to love God. All praise to the Most High. Let me show you what it means to love God. Read. 1 John chapter 5 verse 3. Read. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So to love God, we have to do something. It's an action word. We got to keep the commandments of God, right? Go to, give me Leviticus 21. Let's go through some of these laws, statutes, and commandments that I need to keep and you need to keep, right? Read. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their heads. So one, one law is we don't supposed to ball our heads, right? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. And then if you grow a beard, you can't do what? Time. Huh? You don't want to do what with your beard? You don't want to shave your beard. Right? You shave your beard, right? Why? Okay, so so that means you gotta stop doing that too, though. Right? You gotta stop doing that. You know, that's what you gotta do. You gotta show them, cause this way, if you can't show them in something simple, how you gonna show them in something hard, right? They're like, that's we gotta, they just what, with Most High God, we gotta meet each other together. He gotta see that we trying to do something. He's like, man, this brother won't do something simple I tell him to do. Just shave your, don't shave your beard. That's little, that's simple, right? That's light work. Right? Matter of fact, give me that uh, least command, Matthew 5 and um, 18. I think that's what I want. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 18 and 19. Read that. Because sometimes he requires, it's just like we read Deuteronomy, right? It says, what does the Lord that God require of thee? He don't require nothing of the other nation. He don't care what they out here doing. We are his sons. We are his daughters. He requires us to do something, right? Read. Matthew chapter 5 verse 19. Whosoever shall, therefore, shall break one of these leaves. Command. Least command. That's little, right? Going into the beard. That's a little thing, right? Matter of fact, you have to go out of your way to cut your beard off. You know, right? You just wake up in the morning, it's gonna grow. Right? I can see it. It's gonna grow no matter what. You ain't gotta do nothing for your beard to grow. You gotta make an action to go and cut that thing off. So read that again. Whosoever the fuck shall break one of these least commandments. So if that's a least commandment, that's something small, that's something little right there. Oh. You can keep that thing. So guess what? If you trying to love God, you trying to show God that you're there, you ain't going to do that no more, right? All praise to the Most High. Read. And shall teach me and so. And shall teach me and so. You want to know how you teach people that? You, you're an example, right? You're an example. Our brothers got to realize and our sisters got to realize that they all leaders. We all leaders. No matter what you do, no matter if you're the garbage man, it don't matter if you're the councilman sitting in, sitting in some um, high power room. You still a leader in your community because somebody looked to you as an example, right? It's somebody that look at you as an example. I want to be like my uncle Tom. I want to be like Tucker Tom. I want to be like this. I want to do that. I like the way he do this. I want to be like him, right? So everything that you do, the people that watch you, you teaching them, right? So when you break God's commandment, the little brothers that's coming up, guess what they gonna do? They gonna break God's commandments, right? Even what I. We're even going on with our sisters, right? When our sisters want to take their hair that God gave them and look like the white woman, guess what the little kids want to do? They want to do it too. I want to get a perm too. I want to put blonde hair on my head too. You know blonde hair, according to the Bible, is a sin, right? Let me show you. Give me that scripture right there. According to the Bible, blonde hair is a plague. It's a plague. It's, it's, it's almost like considered a sickness according to the Bible. Now people might hear this and go like, man, that's crazy. That ain't true. It's because you don't read the Bible. You listen to what your pastor tell you. Well, the pastor right. say, bring my money on Sunday morning. You right there with the check. You see what I'm saying? But we got to do what these scriptures do. Read that. Leviticus chapter 13 verse 29. Read. If a man or woman have a plague upon the head or the beard. A plague upon the head or the beard going into your hair. Read. He is the priest shall see the plague. Go ahead. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be any yellow thin hair. Say if it be any yellow thin hair. The word blind means yellow, right? If you look over at that sign at the uh, at the at the beauty depot, you see pictures of, of our sisters with blonde hair in their head, right? But according to the Bible, what do you call it? Read. And there be any yellow thin hair. Read. Then the priest shall pronounce him. Unclean. So guess what? According to the Bible, 
blonde hair is unclean. We, 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 just, we just red. What you got? That's different. That's, that's a whole other different thing right there. That's not something that somebody's actively doing to themselves. They born like that. You see what I'm saying? But we go out here and we commit and sin. What you got? Read, read it. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 13. Go ahead. Then the priest shall consider, and behold, if the leprosy have covered all his flesh. That's that leprosy, that albinoism. Read. He shall pronounce him clean. He should be what? He shall pronounce him clean. So guess what? They clean. But our sisters that go and get that blind hair to get put in their hair, that ain't clean. They choosing to be unclean. They choosing to have a plague upon their hair. You see what I'm saying? So it's going back into us being examples. Like today, right now, Exodus 20, verse 8. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day, right? Guess what? A lot of Christians, they don't... A lot of Christians, they don't believe that today the Lord's Sabbath day. They believe any day is the Sabbath day. That's what they say. The Bible don't say that, but that's what they say because that's what they pastors say, right? And Christians believe anything they pastors say. That's so right. If a pastor come out here and say, the sky is orange, then all the Christians in that church will say, you seen the orange sky this morning? Bring it out. Pastors say that sky was orange and looking good. Now what about the Passover, though? What the Passover. The accurate time. The, so the Passover, we keeping the Passover this Thursday at, at um, Thursday sundown. All right, give me a scripture on Passover real quick. Leviticus 23. Now guess what? We got a school over there, 1661 Lamar. If you ready to repent and keep the Passover, you come keep the Passover with us. We keeping the Sabbath today. Guess what? We got a school at 2 o'clock. Guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be keeping the Sabbath at the school today. That's right. right. So if you're saying you try, what you got to do today? Guess what? You should be at the school today then. Learning about who you are and how to get closer to God and how to love. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 5. Go ahead. In the 14th day of the first month at even. So it says the 14th day of the first month at even, right? Whether we know it or not, guess what? The, the first month is in, is the first, the beginning of the year happened this month. It happened, right? We think that January 1st is the beginning of the month, right? Why we think that? It's cold, it's winter, everything day. Ain't nobody reproduce. Ain't no reproduction. Because the white man say it's the first day of the month, right? But guess what? December, D-E-C means 10, right? So guess what? You still got 11. January, you still got 12. February, and then around March, come in the first of the, the first of New Year. You see, that's, what, that's when life is born. It's so simple. We've been put in captivity and told lies for so long. We believe stuff that's just dumb. We believe that the New Year is when everything is dead. But that's not true according to the Bible.